Hello! In this tutorial I will show you how to set up GIMP interface to your liking. When you download GIMP 2.8 it looks more or less like this. First of all I will show you how to change the theme. Go to Edit – Preferences – Theme. Right now it is set up to default, but I am using theme called Prudence. So click on the theme to select it and then press OK. To activate the theme you must reload GIMP. Just close it down and start again. I personally like this theme because it looks clean and the colors are neutral. Now I am going to change the layout of Dockable dialog. We've got some here on the left and on the right. First I am going to close some tabs. I just need to click on this small triangle and select Close tab. This step needs to be repeated for every single tab you want to close. See, the tabs are gone. Now let's close some tabs on the right. Just do the same, click on the triangle and select Close tab. Also it is possible to close tab windows completely. The next step is to activate single window mode. Just go to Windows and click on Single Window Mode. Make the areas of dockable dialogs wider by dragging those dots. And now we're going to add dialogs to the left and to the right. To start with, let's activate Toolbox. Go to Tools, New Toolbox. Here it is, but there are some changes I want to make. For example, I want to get rid of active brushes and active image windows. All I need to do is to go to Edit, Preferences, Toolbox. Under the Appearance sign there are three options – Show Foreground, Background, Active Brush and Active Image. To deactivate them I need to click on this small square and they are gone. Also there are tools themselves. You can decide which of them you want to be visible and which not. To add a tool just click on this little square next to the tool and it will appear in the toolbox, while an eye icon will show up next to the tool. Do the same to remove the tool from the toolbox. There are lots of different tools, but I am only using about half of them and they take space, so I just switched off the rest. When you finish press OK to save your preferences. I'm not going to add any dialogs here, but I will change the width so that my tools are set up in two lines. Now let's set up the right side. I like to have tool options dialog there, so I'm going to Windows, Dockable, Dialogs, Tool Options. Here it is, but usually my right side of GIMP has tool options at the top and layers at the bottom. To add layers or any other tab to the bottom, click on the small triangle, then click Add tab and select the tab of your choice. Now grab the tab and holding it with your mouse pull it to the bottom of the tab window. Here I had to do a trick. Cam Studio, which is the software I use to record videos of my screen, just doesn't allow me to show you this part of the process. So I had to make a print screen to show you the whole step. At the bottom a thin blue line should appear, this is where you should drop your tab. Just release the mouse and the tab should be seated at the bottom. Now you can add as many tabs as you want to the both top and the bottom parts. And then you can navigate between them. Also you can change the width of this window. Now I need to quickly create a file to show you how to switch on and off rulers. To make rulers visible go to View – Show Rulers. Rulers are useful when you want to create guides. To make rulers invisible do the same, go to View – Show Rulers. To make the guides invisible go to View – Show Guides. And there is one more trick I want to show you. 
It's how to change the startup image of the GIMP. Open the image of your choice in GIMP. It should be of a small size. Mine is 500 pixels by 333. Then go to File, Export, call it GIMP Splash, it's important, and select File Type, find PNG Format, and press Export, then Export again. Open the folder with the saved image. Next go to Computer, Directory C, Program Files, GIMP, Share, GIMP again, 2.0 and finally Images. This is my current startup image. And here is the image I want to replace it with. As you see, they both are called Game Splash. So to not to remove the image from the folder, in case I want to use it again, I just need to rename it. And now I can add my new image to the folder. My computer constantly asks for permission, so don't pay attention to it. Notice that no other image in this folder is called Game Splash. It's important. All that's left is to reload GIMP to show you the new startup image. And here it is.